Well, hello, Glue Troopers. Max and Max's Models here, and I just got back from Model Palooza, and uh, I am happy to report that there were just all kinds of cool things on display there. A lot of these pictures are courtesy of Fran Fierco, our uh, channel friend, because when I was on my way down there, I got stuck in traffic. So I only got the last uh, hour and a half or so, but a lot of the models been put away, but Fran fortunately sent me these pictures and I will probably do a more in-depth video later. However, I, I did get an opportunity to go visit a bunch of the vendors. We'll talk about that in just a second. Once again, as always, the incredibly excellent uh, builds you expect from a show like this. Um, just master level work on all parts. So, and some of it like uh, this were uh, somewhat kit bash, which is really cool. Uh, the vendors had all kinds of cool stuff, a lot of vintage stuff, uh, really good selection of uh, airliners, and things like these old Renwall kits. I swear sometimes I'll just buy these things for the box. It, it's just so cool. But uh, Cult TV Man, uh, Steve Iverson was there, and he had all that cool stuff. If it's sci-fi, Steve's probably got it. And uh, some of these kits I'd only seen in magazines. I haven't even seen them in the shops yet. So it was just really great to be around all the, the kits that were actually there in person. And it's all I could do not to spend my whole allowance in one spot. And fortunately, the one good thing about getting there is for such short time as I did is uh, all these magnificent models didn't have a chance to wear my defenses down. <laughs> uh, I did acquire a couple of kits there. We'll talk about those in a moment. But uh, again, Model Palooza is worth going to just, just for the selection of kits. And then seeing the builds and everything is, is just almost the gravy on top. A bunch of glue troopers were there. And uh, they uh, came up and shook my hand and said, hi, always great to see these guys. Uh, there's Barry and uh, Fran. Fran took a lot of the photos. And uh, Barry drove up from Lauderdale for this. There's Steve Iverson, a cult TV man who has so many cool sci-fi and horror movie uh, uh, kits. A lot of these are the new Mobius kits and uh, just all the cool stuff that's coming out. And I just had a great time. There's, there's the Bond car we talked about just last night at the live stream. Almost got the Razor Crest, but I'd just gotten one earlier in small scale. Couldn't quite. Uh... Now, this is uh, Don Levine. He sold me a couple of uh, airliners for a super good deal. And the reason I included him is he's a personal friend of Mike Machat's. Also, want to thank Barry for uh, this uh, birthday present. It's uh, some acrylic paint strainers and paintbrush cleaners. The models I got uh, from Don, uh, the Airbus, as you can see here, it's the standard 1 to 144 Revell kit. And it came not only with uh, the decals that are standard to that model, but it also there were some aftermarkets for uh, Cess, for Boeing 727s, so uh, Northwest Orient and National Airlines. I wasn't expecting those, so that opens up some possibilities. Um, I don't know if they would work on the Airbus or not, but it'd still be a cool thing to look into. And the uh, DC-8 that uh, I bought, this is Ladella kit, and I'm wondering if Mike did that box art. Anyway, uh, the decals well, they might be usable, but uh, we'll see. Uh, it's, it's a typical old Revell kit. There's some flash on it. Uh, the windows are the kind that are sunk in. You don't put the glass in, but th that makes it easier to use paint to fill in there and, and mark them up. But uh, straightforward kit. Uh, I look forward to building it. I did a parts inventory. It looks like it's complete. And uh, Barry gave me uh, this uh, flyer from the Neutral Zone Studios up in Georgia where they have that replica of the interior sets of the original series Star Trek Enterprise. i got to get up there and see that at some point. So uh, that's what we have right now. Just a quick and dirty. I'm making this on my cell phone from a hotel room. Uh, off to work tomorrow. Gone for four more days after today. So won't be home till the end of the week, but we are planning a live stream on Saturday. We'll talk about this and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, not sure if I get any content out between now and then, but once again, I want to thank uh, Fran for the pictures. I want to thank Barry for the gift. I want to thank Don for the great deal on the model airliners. And I lucky I got out of there with as little damage to my wallet as I did because I could have definitely spent my whole allowance there. Uh, model Palooza is a great thing. Unfortunately, Trey Trey's models wasn't able to make it this time, and his presence was missed. So, Trey, we hope to see you there next year. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll get a table up there and talk to him about doing a live stream from Model Palooza next year. And that's what we have for right now. You guys take care of yourselves, and as always, model on.